Okay, so I was, I arrived, crowned Gunder into the human realm of things as the Om and Om Omnificent, as Zarina Nicole Katarutsa. Um, so this way my DIA and my CIA records would pair properly. Um, there's sacred um, partnership and guardianship with the planet. Not every genetic looking human qualifies. It's also not a beauty contest by any means. Um, there's levels of humans, but um, and then there's the ancient sacred Om for which I am, which is spiritual nebula, and then it's infused or encapsulated in a sleeve, a genetic sleeve, which is what, whatever, in sacred method. Um, then they're born, and then we're born, he and I, the timing mechanism, sigma direction. That's it. Um, and then we, and then I have sacred children with him. So, if you have... The dawn, being the naval dawn, uh, intelligent or intel agency, who knows quiet things, and then you have, say, we, I mean, they call themselves central. I mean, like, is that center line intelligence? Is that like the, the pivotal axis where it like meets X and Y on a plane of some form of reality and count? I'm just curious. Um, I don't know how you train your things that you hire, because I haven't met any of them. Uh, I think I met one, uh, at least that he told me, but he looked very priestly, but uh, actually he looked like a gnome, K-N-O-M-E, which was my own way of um, n trying not to insult him, because apparently he came with predisposition to want to hate me. Uh, for future, we were all trying to avoid together uh, with as least dishonorment as possible. Um, and quite frankly, his uh, Peter Rabbi status elsewhere on the back of a dollar bill did not bother me quite as badly at CIA, CIA level in 1995-96 when I met him at St. John's, uh, John's Catholic Christian Awakening whatever uh, with the St. John's uh, crew of um, kids from local area, I was told, um, for some, like, one night sleepaway, whatever. Um, but I think it was in, in Astoria. Um, and so that was 1996, 19, 1995, 1996. Um, so that was that. Um, but the, the CIA at that point point would be the counterintelligence. The, um, well, okay, so what do we need to know up until this point and what do you need us to do, Don? So this way we don't have a Juan Valdez oil slick where all of the humans are covered in this disgusting black grime. We can't get it off of our skins by ourselves in wild fauna and flora, and then we don't know what to do as the children of Earth. Yeah, we got that. So then we got the FBI, which is now international. I thought they were just on the Fidelis of U.S.A., and then Legat and, and the Interpolation Police was uh, elsewhere, but they're advertising. T. Frio just confirmed it in my ear. FBI and the Legat apparently combined. They have offices on, like, every street corner around the planet in every country now. Um, they don't even look like FBI anything, but you can go in and you can give your comment. Um, but here's the thing, all the broken pieces in the world and on the planet are not going to give you a sense of reality of what's going on at any given point. It's just reality collection. What are they saying? What do they think is happening? They're all broken pieces in a broken system from the top, which would be where my marriage to Nicholas was the most important. 
but because you haven't gotten capstone into place and you've tried to build structure up and around, it keeps collapsing and nobody does the one thing that they need, which is to put the capstone together and then the, build, the system builds itself uh, and corrects itself. So now I'm just curious, what is your function? What is your dysfunction? What is your malfunction? What is your function? Um, there is a dimensional aspect to the environment around your human. Dementia, my, okay, here, we'll give you a, my cousin, uh, Linda, is a soccer mom. I don't particularly care for her uh, genre of woman. Um, and th on Long Island. And in New York State. And then there is... She was also a soccer player. Then... And that should not impress you if you're a professional. Although, I don't know. I Whatever, I'm not commenting. Um, and so then... The... Um, where was I? Right, okay. So... Um, so she was not invited. She was a tin can of problems of poison. I was trying to fucking forget when I was a kid. I was working on Craig and Joseph being very handsome brothers from Star Brothers because for some reason Joseph would gravitate more towards Kevin, he being the independent auditor, and then uh, there was no independent auditor to protect poor... Craig and I was really concerned. I said, "Is there like an outside party, like a third party? We like, where's my brimstone? Can my brimstone like befriend him and then like say they're cousins and be his independent auditor just to please help?" Um, our one situation. I just want to get married, right? I don't want to upset everybody with lots of tryouts of ugly guys all over New York that I don't want to be with. Um, okay, so. My Aunt Eleanor um, was not one of my favorite people in the world. I mean, she wasn't bad, but she was just not my cup of tea. Um, my Uncle Tommy, though, I really did like. Um, he's just a good person. Um, and so um, the thing is, is that uh, Eleanor and Tommy, or Tommy at least, was warned about uh, my omnificent from Judith, uh, Gunder being Aunt Judy, um, as was Tommy. Uh, Tommy, Eddie, uh, and so, all through the family they were. Uh, they knew that Linda knew nothing, and she was like the hardest person on earth to talk anything spiritual to, so they decided not to, bo not to bother her, since Nicole tried, and it didn't work, so we would just all be adults with Nicole, and the goddess anyway, and just whatever. So, uh, we, I warned that, uh, in the one route that I'm aiming for in the omnificent, uh, and a good outcome, uh, I'm able to get to Nikionis, which is where I want to be. Um, and so this way I can work on fixing the interdimensional connection problem, uh, that I'm hoping to avoid as, uh, my appearance here. Um, but that's where the break with humans comes in, uh, in communication. For some reason, there's some alternate evil scenario that they have started before I arrived, and Linda and Lou are product of that. It's already verified. Um, but I also provided solution based on who I am. So, uh, in perfect scenario, I get to be with Nikionis, we have our extra special children, and in quiet places, we work on fixing the solar system and the universe and the science that goes on behind it that we already know. And I don't need research, I don't need money, I just need... whatever. In the worst case scenario, you all lock me in some human white trash scenario for too long... And then they rape me and force me to marry two fucking disgusting Americans that I hate and I don't want. And uh, they wipe my memory. They break the, the, the time-space continuum completely so they could research it and they could be the heroes. Oh, and they ask for a lot of money and then it becomes extortion. But they're ill-equipped because they don't understand the totality and the spectrum for which they are endangering and how many or how to fix it in any shape or form or to explain it to all the rest of the population that they lied to, stole from, and is, has now put in grave danger based on what's on stake. That's the state of the nation right now on world scale.
uh, has been since uh, 1998 when you uh, fucked up my initial takeaway to Happy Ever After, and then you spun things and fucking put Long Island Jason ugly fucking Romer in and fucked up the entire future. And then did nothing to fucking help. So, uh, by that point, I, the dimensions were already broken. You're walking in and out of science that you don't see, you don't feel, you don't hear, but until it's too late. And uh, Eleanor, I don't know what her maiden name was, it's Gunder now, is a product of interstellar, interdimensional breakage of the science of Earth and the solar system and the galaxy for which humans are using machine and doing all sorts of experiments for which they are not equipped, permitted, or allowed. We told them specifically to put down the weapons and the tools that they, that they stole or they discovered. It is not meant for them, and we have real serious work to do. And instead, they forced me into this saturated problem of humanness for which I am not equipped to deal with or handle because I fucking want you all dead. But I also have to help those that are like worthy of saving somewhere in the world. So I'm really stuck between a rock and a fucking hard place that I really don't want to fucking be in. But good news is we have people like Eleanor who have lost their mind and ability to function completely, returned to infant state as an adult, needs full round-the-clock care. It's really gross at her age of like 50-something to have to wipe her ass and bathe her. Oh, it's so much easier when they're little. And when you asshole humans don't uh, totally disregard the warning in 1980s time frame when the four-year-old sent to fix the exact problem and have the aunt not be in this situation first arrived. But instead, Stupidville of... McClurg claims they're Gunder, decides that it's a threat against the family. No, stupid. It is what will fucking happen. I'm trying to forewarn you to protect you and simultaneously to alert you to how special and awesome your amazing gift was from heaven and beyond in the stars. Most people would kill or die to be in a family that has been blessed with somebody as awesome as your niece. Yeah, but that's not what I got from the Elmont crew. Uh, I mean, I got Aunt Marie, who was thankful and happy. Stevie, who laughed like hell and goes, oh my God, this is so weird. It could actually be real. And then I had Judy, who knew it was real because she was getting contacted by all sorts of really official people around the world. Um, so um, that's where I was for, I don't know, the first four or five years. Um, but do I feel bad that Eleanor has dementia? Absolutely fucking not. None of you have done a fucking thing to help me my entire life. In fact, all you've done is follow everybody else but the specific instructions you were given to help me, because every action that you do that hurts me like, not giving me the sale of the house so I could pay my bill. I mean, I worked for it. I would pay my bills with it. Alex would be able to eat. I could keep the heat on. It would, like, make me relax because I wouldn't be so worried about losing the house. I had just gotten a divorce. I mean, you know, like, things, like, human things. Like, you care about people. You do nice things. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what the McClure Gunders did. In, uh, born in Elmont, went to Sawanica between, in like the 1940s, 50s, right, yeah. No, the whole ten of them, less two girls and one gay guy, did absolutely fucking nothing. In fact, they did everything that their friends, like Peter, Jason, Jason Peter Romer's father, Peter Otto Romer, who was part of the whole fucking debauchery in Geneva Convention about nuclear weapons and sales and all sorts of dirty shit. No, they go to bed with him instead. Like, Peter and uh, Uncle Ed are, like, best friends. My, they're like two peas in a pod, my mom say. I'm like, yeah, thanks, Mom. I got that on official record. Essential human function, I am. Uh, not that you would fucking understand what that is in your stereo human that they delivered me to. 